All right, so I'm on this project. Um, it's not mine. Um, another contractor installed this, and a friend um, that I installed his project uh, just before Christmas, and then we finished a little bit after Christmas, uh, called me and he said he, he had a friend who had uh, this paper stone project put in place, and he didn't want the other contractor to seal it because he knew that I did a really good job on sealing. And he asked me for a favor because the other contractor was not ethical. So anyway, um, so I, I jumped at the chance to come take a look at this because I've never seen the, the Ackerstone Coastal Series paver put in place. Uh, but frankly, it's beautiful. So this is an extremely white type of paver with mother of pearl shells all the way through. Um, and it's a very, ver veritable size uh, layout. Basically a random ashlar is what we call it. And it's gonna look fantastic once it's sealed, but I'm gonna use a natural sealer so that it comes out as pure as possible. Uh, because I don't wanna take away from the, the beauty of the mother of pearl shells all the way through this. So, and frankly, this is just gonna look awesome the way it is. So, give me a minute, I'm gonna seal this and uh, I did a power clean on it earlier today, trying to get out some of the old, um, just dirt, because this is this is ultra white, ultra pure, um, really beautiful. And it's got a special grinding technique to it so that it's still non-skid surface, wet or dry, but I didn't want to use anything that um, would be super slick in any way, uh, but still handles the beauty of the stone itself. But again, Acre Stone Coastal Series, white. Uh, but you know, if you do a lot of barbecuing and you have these ultra white stones, have a barbecue mat down so that the stones don't get damaged in any way by some oil from the barbecue. So hold on. So I started a small section right by the front door. The natural sealer um, is not gonna give it a real high gloss. It's just gonna give it a nice um, seal to it so that it protects the stone as best as possible and I'm using just a simple sprayer from Home Depot and I always adjust the spray and volume to the way I like it but again this is just gonna look awesome when it's finished